So many decals. No more decals, please. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Steve O.D. from the 313 coming at you on Tamiya Tuesday. Happy Tamiya Tuesday, everybody. Um, I am done with my decals. I am not putting no more on this. I, I still have this many extra decals. If you can see all them. I still have all that. There's the uh, chassis. Um, I still got to put the receiver on it and hook that up. But um, I wanted to show you guys uh, how my build's going. Uh, I got it painted. Uh, which I did learn a couple things um, usually when I have a body and I scuff it at first the paint fills in any scratches and uh, this time I thought about it after I already scuffed the body because I was using the chrome spastics chrome mirror finish and I was thinking this might show up with some scratches on it since the type of paint it is and it did so uh, that's a learning experience for me. If I'm going to use the mirror chrome, do not prep the body by scuffing it. And then also I use the Spastics uh, color changing paint, which it goes from green, teal, uh, purple to orange, uh, depending how you see it, which I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Uh, like I see it here in person because when I see it here in person it looks good like the color changing and that was another thing I never used that color changing paint before and when you spray it on your body it doesn't come out as any color it comes out clear with like glitter it's weird so I didn't know how many coats if I was supposed to keep putting clear coats on and then it would get darker uh, or just to put a couple coats and so uh, it seemed it seemed to work uh, here we go let's take a look uh, at what I got so far let's see here so you got the chrome here the chrome goes down and then the color changing and then the black in the center so like right there it looks green let's see if I can get it to change color in the in the uh, camera yeah it looks just like green in the camera there you go that looks like it might have changed a little bit for you it's purple there's like a purple and then it's here I really don't see an orange on here but I still gotta put this little thing on the back. And uh but yeah, here here it is. So that there we go. Let me throw it on the chassis real quick. I can't wait to get this out on the track and race it with the guys. A lot of these kits sold up at my hobby shop, so there should be a good amount of people racing them, but I just think it's a great looking truck. And from what I've seen, it handles pretty good too. It's pretty quick for what they give you, because when we're racing, you have to use, uh, there's no upgrades allowed besides bearings instead of the bushings. So. Uh, I did install bearings on mine and everything else is stock. There we go. That's the fat box. Very cool. Some stickers that came in. We got a letter that I haven't opened yet. Someone that's going to be going up on the sticker wall, I believe. Let's see who we got. Um, Okay, it's from RC's Big Air. It says, Stevo, I just wanted to thank you for your great support you have given to my channel, but also the awesome support you have 
given to the RC YouTube category in general. I see your parts and comments everywhere. That's, that is pretty awesome. You are an inspiration to all of us uh, RCers. Ryan. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Got uh, one of his stickers on here. And then he sent me uh, like three of these things. Sweet. So we are going to put him up on the sticker wall of fame. And as always, you know, his channel's link will be in the description. So go ahead and check him out. Tell him Steve will send you. Um, so yeah. All right, we got it up there. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, wood grain. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put this one over top of it so you guys can see it better. What do you think? There we go. Thank you once again, RC's Big Air. Sweet. Sticker wall is looking amazing, guys. Thank you everybody that has sent stickers. Sticker wall is looking awesome. So, that's what I got for this Tamiya Tuesday. Uh, next Tamiya Tuesday, I should have a running footage up and this thing should be done. As long as there's not a bunch of snow out there, I'll be able to run it. Or maybe I can get up to my local hobby shop and run it on the indoor track. Maybe that would be cool. So uh, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe, hit that bell so you know the next time your boy's coming at you with another video and we'll talk to you all later. Peace. Wait, that's not what I say. I say talk to you later. Uh, later. There, that's what I was supposed to say.